welcome to Sweetness Made Cafe. I'm Made Fun, and I'll be hosting the uh, Monday Fun Day stream where you can join me every Monday on my adventures through Hyrule. Uh, so welcome to all of our returning guests and to those tuning in for the very first time. Welcome home to Sweetness Made Cafe where you can add some sweetness to your day. Uh, so last time we were playing on uh, Breath of the Wild, we traveled from the Great Plateau to Kakariko Village, and we were working on some of the side quests there and decided that we would go to Hateno Village, so that's what we're going to be going to today uh, to fix the Sheikah Slate, so that way we can maybe unlock some of Link's memories here. I'm actually going to get up. I think my TV is just a little bit too loud. I don't want it picking up on the mic, so give me just a second. I'll be right back. Ragnarok. Let's take a peek. We are on our way. Have it marked on the map for Hatino Village. For the Karuk. Let's see, where did it go? It was marked on the map. It shows in the little map here for Hatino Village. But let's go ahead and make our way over there. So, since last we met, I've been working on some of the side quests here. Uh, I did all the cuckoos one with the, the chickens, and then, ooh, that's a big fire. And then I did the playtime with Kortla, which is a little girl. I did all the little cooking side quests with Coco, and I believe that was all the side quests. Oh, there was this other one. So the guy whose wife left him uh, and had all the cuckoos, uh, she's actually still in the village and she gave me the side quest of lighting all of the lamps next to the statue in the, over by like the pond in the main area. So I did that and it was so funny. She was talking about how her husband was really good. Uh, Archer, if only he still focused on his archery instead of his cuckoos, they might still be together. And I was like, oh! <laughs> but yeah, so right now we are just making our way to Hatino Village. But how has everyone been since last time we met? Intense fire arrows. Nice. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, for your real Ragnarok. Link's just like, um, I am just a guy. I'm just here to make my way through all the side quests. Not really sure where I fit in in your weird marriage problems. <laughs> a shrine over there that we can maybe tackle. Let's see, are there any guardians? Let's see, ooh, that's an interesting structure. There's a shrine. Let's check, ooh, okay, hold on, there's a really big river here. So maybe we shouldn't do that just yet. Or, no, it looks like I have to cross the river anyway, so. Let's go ahead and do that shrine. Ooh, I hope I can climb at the same time as flying. Okay, sweet. Perfect. Ooh. Let's bring out the hammer and get some of this rock salt. 
Oh, we got flint this time. Okay, so we strike it to generate a spark. It breaks up for one use, but it can create a long-lasting flame if you use it near firewood. Okay. I'll take that. I can sell that. Get some shmoney. So I really want to get that cute hairstyle from Kakariko Village. Hi, Kristari. Welcome. You're at Trivia. What's your trivia name? And thank you so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure to have you back at the cafe. Let's see, it looks like there's some stuff up here. Okay. Looks like there's some more of those rocks that we can smash. Ooh, they're glowing like different colors. Okay. Ooh, topaz, ruby, and some ambers. Okay, we're gonna make a lot of shmoney. I will take these, thank you. Okay, we got some salt. Very nice. Go ahead and put that away. And let's make our way over to that shrine. That looks like a lot of fun. Okay. I wonder if that tower over there is where I'm supposed to go. Let's see. What landmass has the longest coastline consisting of 50,000 islands? Um, I would say for Kristari, who's at trivia right now, the landmass with the longest coastline, I feel like it's gotta be, like, are we talking about continents? Landmass. 50,000 islands. It's gotta be somewhere, oh, oh no, are these all, are these all guardians? It's gotta be somewhere with a lot of volcanic action. Longest coastline, I'm thinking like either South America or Africa. Oh, but a country. Um, is it, I want to say like either Chile or Argentina, the long skinny one on the west side of like South America. That's got to have a bunch of islands there. Otherwise, I'm kind of tempted to say Japan's got a bunch of islands, but I don't think compared to Chile or Argentina, it's as long of a coastline. I'm going to leave these little cobbles alone. Indonesia? Ooh, completely wrong. <laughs> I was way off. Let's see what we got going on here. Indonesia? Where is Indonesia? Is that... That's in Asia, right? I'm also really bad at geography. That would be the worst question. For me. Dueling Peak Stable. Okay. <gasps> There's a dog! I will take this. Call the dog with my little whistle. Can I pet him? Please let me pet him. I want to pet. <gasps> oh, big stretch, buddy. How do I? Hello. Please be my friend. <gasps> what is that? How do I? How do I befriend you? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at him roll over. <gasps> Please let me pet. If I get close enough. I'm so scared. I'm so scared if I push any button to interact with this dog, it is gonna, I'm gonna whack it. So, like, <gasps> ooh, ooh, actually, is he gonna follow me? Ah! <laughs> oh God! I love him so much. He is my best friend. Hi. How do I, can I give him a meat? Don't cat call a dog. I'm not. Oh, he's so happy. 
Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can give him, like, a meat. Or, let me see what kind of meats I have. I think a, a, a drumstick sounds good. Dogs can, yeah, I'm gonna do drumstick. Okay, so we're gonna hold that. And then, <gasps> is he eating it? He ate it! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, um, ah, oh, is there just like a stick on the ground? I wanna throw a stick. Let's see, do I have, I have a torch? That's, uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, okay. Oh, he sneezed! Okay, buddy, you ready? That's okay, he doesn't know fetch. Not every dog has to. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me go ahead and switch out my... My weapon, though, just in case anything gets a little crazy. Oh, this dog's following me. He's such a good boy. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm very upset that I can't pet the dog, but I'm very excited that I can feed him. Wait, hold on. Are there sticks? Got a bunch of wood to make a campfire. Let's see. Torch. Hitch fork. That's fun. Okay, okay. Let's see. Ooh, let me see if I can feed these horses. I'm having the best time of my life, you guys. Okay. Oh no! I'm sorry, little horse. Let me try that again. that horse. Maybe this one over here. But like, an apple. I can't hold that here. Okay, let's try that again. Aw, okay. So I can't feed the horses, but I can feed the dog. Oh, he sneezed again. Let's see. What else can I feed him? I don't want to feed him a bug. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, just a good boy. Okay, okay. He's whirling around. Oh, love him. Okay, let's see. What's going on? Oh, there's people. You can give me directions. Okay, might be hard to imagine that this place was nearly destroyed a hundred years ago. Even the horses are back, there's a lot of energy. I'm heading to Hateno. On the edge of Hyrule, it was largely unaffected by the effects, or by the events of Great Calamity. So the people are pretty easy going, nice. They've got a research center. Anyway, head north from here until you reach a fork in the road, then go east, which would be right, I think. Okay, with a horse. I don't think I saw any horses on my way here. I did paraglide, though. <laughs> Horses in the wild are well wild, no one has trained or cared for them. Let his brother know and he'll register the horse for you. Okay. Well spring some information about horses, so pick the brains. Okay. Hi. All things horse related. Also an inn. Haven't seen my face. I don't know. No, tell me about the disabled. 
can board your horse companions with us and summon them as you please from our network of stables. Okay. So there are other stables I can access my horse, but I have to have a horse. How do you catch a horse, though? Up to five horse? <gasps> okay. I don't. Tell me. Let's see. To catch a wild horse, all you have to do is approach it from behind slowly so it doesn't notice you, and then hop on. These are wild animals we're talking about, so the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. We'll eventually settle down, and when that happens, bring it to me. Okay. It may take a while for them to get used to being ridden, and they may change directions or slow down on their own. Okay, that's fair. Your horse disobeys your direction. You'll want to gently redirect it, then calm it. If you continue acting that way, your horse will begin to trust you and become more obedient. Okay. Good to know. I think I'm good to go. Thanks, Tesserin. Let's see what's this guy thinking. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of a blood moon. Is there a blood moon happening right now? It's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. Monsters that had previously been defeated will come back to life. Oh. Ooh, that's spooky. And that's why it's known as the Blood Moon! Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has answers to those questions. It's just a mysterious phenomenon. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Thanks, you know. Okay, it is 4 a.m. here at this little stable. Another person. A lost or something? Kakariko Village is ways north of here. If you're going to Dueling Peak Stable, it's not much far. It's literally right behind ah. me. Okay, but he works at the stables. Okay. Let's see. Huh? What would you give me for some bird? Okay, eight rupees. Nothing much for a lizard. Can sell these guys here. Ooh, a lot of money for these ones. Sometimes it's easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. Oof. Don't I know about 2012. Hmm. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle was especially dangerous. On account of that giant snake that's serpentining around it, but... If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Tell me all about them. You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for rebuilding your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Okay. They can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you made it this far. Okay. Well, you don't have to be rude like that. Something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Oh, thank you. This makes me faster while running, swimming, or climbing. The answer to the island question was Canada. Oof. R Canada? I mean, I guess I was thinking about both sides of it. Or three sides, right? Because it's open and then Alaska, and then it's open, and then all of there's, yeah, I guess there would be a bunch of islands going north from Canada up to like the Arctic Circle. Um, interesting. Hightail 
lizard, and monster parts. I usually have a stock of 10 of them already. Okay. Let's see. Is this a bug? Is this safe to go in? Okay. Ooh. Let's see. How do I get in here without hurting myself? Okay. Well, I just hurt myself. <laughs> Can I climb on this? No. Let's see. Can I just hack away at it? No. Maybe. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to hang glide in to get to that. Let's see. It looks like I should be able to get in there from this little cliff face here. any cool rocks in this little cluster here. It's sparkling blue. Let's get my hammer. Okay, not a whole lot of cool rocks. you to target things by tilting. Okay, well I'm playing with the controller so I don't think that works. Okay, let's see. What's this one called? From Han to Hammer. The Water Guides. Okay, that sounds fun. I see a treasure chest up there that I definitely want to get. with water no okay that's cool okay It's like spirit, <laughs> like the Matt Damon horse movie. Why can't I hop onto this other one? Is it too close? It's probably too close. Let's just break that. Or, you know what? Let's do this. So we're going to break this. And then we'll kind of like do a little stair step. Boom. Okay. This is so cool, you guys. One more up, I can just hop down easily. I'm gonna freeze 
right there. We'll climb up. Let's see. Is there another one up there? How high can I go? They're just famous last words for me, but... Okay, looks like it stopped right here. Whew, okay. Let's open this little chest. Ooh, some money! Okay, so we're at 112, and I think it was 500 to get the cool hairstyle. So we're making money moves. We're getting there, slowly but surely. break. Okay. So I just need to get it to tilt the other way. Let's see if that kind of slows it down. Okay. Oh, but not close enough. Let's go here. Let's see how that works out. <gasps> it's happening! Yay! That was a fun puzzle! Aww. Thank you, Allie. I love you, too. Let's see. How do I get down without killing myself? And is there any other hidden things that I can find here? Y'all, so I did a shrine off stream while I was playing around in Hyrule and doing all those side quests. And it was very similar to this one where let me let me go back and show y'all so i had to get a ball in in like a basin like that except the way that it worked is like there were three floating balls on the water and then the basin was underwater and i had to use magnesis to bring the basin up and scoop the ball and then put it in a hole like that uh so the first half totally easy uh i was able to scoop it up and then dump it in the hole, but I had to bring the the basin with me into the next chamber and then use stasis because there was a pressure plate. So the basin had to be on the pressure plate and then I had to do stasis so that way I could use the basin to scoop another ball and then put it in a box cage kind of like this, except the box would close again if the pressure plate released, right? So that's why you needed to put the bowl on the pressure plate, but I ended up <laughs> messing it up so bad, but I got the the basin, the bowl that I was using to transfer the balls into the, the, the gate, I got that locked in the box, and the ball was outside, and then I just had to leave the shrine, I had to rage quit it, because I had goofed so hard, 
And I'm just like, Urgh! so I just beat up a couple of the goblins. <laughs> So I'm glad that this is a very smooth and seamless uh, trial on stream, so I look like pro gamer. <laughs> okay, so we've got another spirit orb. I think we've got three. Yes, yes. So we're up to three spirit orbs now. I need one more before I can level up with the, uh, the goddess statue in Kakariko Village, unless there's another one in Hateno. Mm, excuse me. Okay. Oh, you can temporarily increase your hearts if you rest at an end. That's good to know. Oh, and all the little fence is gone, too. Neat. A goat. Okay. So let's make our way to Hateno. Which I have a sneaky suspicion that it's just going to be where that giant tower is. I'm also going to switch weapons, let's see, I'll go with the woodcutter's axe, and then let's see, I already have sh a shield equipped, okay, perfect, I think we're ready, <gasps> I think I see some horses, okay, let's get a horse. And then that can help us get to Hateno. Let's see. Oh, thank you so much for wishing me luck on my adventure, Kastari's trivia team. I'll try to help y'all out if y'all have any more questions too, but I can't guarantee the accuracy of any of them. Let's see. I'm gonna crouch down and try and get close to these horses here. Ooh, more stamina or more health? I think I am going to go more health, just because I have a bad habit of falling off things. <laughs> Let's see. Which horse should I go for? There's one with, like, a little freckle butt. There's a patchy one. There's that black horse. And then there's a brown one. Let's see. All of them, but the black one is moving, so maybe I'll be able to sneak up on it. Oh, they're all kind of positioned, so I don't know if they're going to alert one another to the fact that I am here, but I think I am in prime position for this freckle booty one. Hold on, one's moving. <laughs> like the Matt Damon horse. Ah. Uh, so, none of them look like the Matt Damon horse, but the spotted patchy one with the, like, kind of, like, tan hair, that one looks like Matt Damon's horse girlfriend in that movie, which that movie was just such a wild ride. Okay, this one's on patrol. Stops moving. Okay. Let's see. If I can get in close. Ate him out. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Set the camera. I think. Come on. I think we're doing good. Yeah, well, I 
think I got a horse. I could ride horses all day in this game. <laughs> oh, hold on. Getting lost in the camera. Let's slow down a little bit. That's a good horse. Okay. Let's see. So I guess the next thing would be to take it to the stable, right? Because then it's a registered horse. horses are special, but they're not the only animals that'll let people ride them. <gasps> there are other things I can ride? I won't waste my time on anything but a horse. But uh, you look like the type of person who doesn't discriminate. He's alright, he's alright. I want to ride other things. Okay, he's just going to say the same stuff. Should I just take this horse to Hateno? Let's see what this guy is saying. On unlucky nights, it turns red. Monsters come back. Okay. Okay. What's the night's moon looking like? It's a crescent. Makes me hungry for some reason. Or croissant. The trypophobia horse. <laughs> no, he just got a bunch of freckles. Okay. Do 
Do I just take my horse inside? Is that what happens? Can I bring my horse? No, the horse is not like that. Come on, horse. Okay, let's get off and see if I can register. Register horse. Oh, wait, it costs money. Uh, okay, I'm at 79 for the bond. Let's, let's keep that going. Let's see if I can max out my bond with the horse. trouble I can get ourselves into. Okay, I don't think the axe was really meant for fighting. That's okay. It's okay, horse. It's okay. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and register this horse. And then we'll head on over to Hatena Village. Yeah, that's a pretty horse, though. combined. Like, the sum of their power is, is greater than, than the two combined. But, okay, I'm at a 92 bond. Yeah, let's go ahead and register. But a moose is huge, tall, can swim underwater just fine, and they've got those huge moose antlers. Oh, 20 rupees, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see, nine characters. Kastari mentioned Landon. Is that enough characters for Landon? Okay, we 
could do land in. Or we could do spirit. Or we could do a combination of the two. I think my switch is glitching, so let me go ahead and fix that real quick. One second. Is that what you were building up to, Chris Starry? You know what? No. I was going to be nice and compromise with, like, lyric or spanned in, but we are not, we're not, we're not doing that. Nope. Nope. This horse's name is Spirit now. Okay, thank you for your patience while I got that sorted out. Let's see. We said that this horse's name is definitely not Landon. To spite Kristari, who is so uncouth. Let's see. Even though it's scientifically proven horses that are friends are stronger... A moose is an absolute unit of a creature. I don't know. I think I'm on team two horses. <laughs> I hope your trivia team votes you off of the island for that. Missing out on trivia to make that terrible joke. I'm sure we want to have spirit. Registration is complete. Yeah, I want to take the horse. Maybe it'll be easier to drive. Um, get separated from your horse. You can whistle and it will call. <gasps> Yay! Now I can finally put that whistle button to use. Awesome. If you're too far away. Okay, that's fair. Let's see, what is this? Just loose children? Let's see what's happening here. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Kristen, hang on. Where are these people? Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You're being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score. The treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Kristen, you're going to give it all away! Ah. Oh, sorry, Dak. Got to give it away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. So if you need something, take it up with someone else. Okay, guys. Oh, who's this person? Hey. I don't believe I've made your acquaintance, Beetle. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped back. It is beetle-shaped! Look at that! Wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. Special bugs, must have items for travelers, and charge a fair price, or my name's not beetle. <laughs> but they also buy stuff like gemstones. Okay! Yeah. Let's see, look what I've got. How much are you willing to give me? Because that other person's at 210. Okay, well, these are the same prices as everyone else in this game. Let's see what you have. <laughs> arrows. I do need some arrows. Six for one. Or 30 
three, four, five. That's going to be the same either way. A cricket. And all this other stuff. Okay. I will take some arrows. Okay. And then I will sell my stones. That sounds great. Let me also sell my opals. Wow. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm not gonna buy anything else so that I can get that cool hairstyle. Ooh, Ragnarok, you're a big fan of the beetle? I wanna see it from behind. That is so cool. It's like a, what are they, like a Hercules beetle? I think is what they're called. Let's see, this is probably for the end. I don't wanna stay at the end. Hey. I will just eat a nice tasty apple. Who went in a fight, says Cristari? A man-sized beetle or a beetle-sized man? Okay, well, are we talking about, like, Blue Beetle from D.C.? Or... I think... Probably... Just... The man-sized beetle would win in a fight, because it, it's big. Oh, that was cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way to Hatino Village. I'm gonna go ahead and equip my bow and arrow in case I run into any people here. I've got my pitchfork, pitchfork in case anyone gets too close. And then Hatina Village is just that way. giant pillar in the sky. Seems to be right, since I'm going in the right direction on the pathfinder in the bottom right. And then let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Oh, this is awesome! I love being on a horse! traveling is finding new fashions. Ooh. If you keep taking this path north, you'll wind up in Kakariko where they wear some of my favorite clothes. I'm going to blow my, on this stunning neckerchief. It's pretty cute. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the sleeping person has to say.
Oh my gosh, that's... That's so traumatic! Why would they put that in the game? Aww. I'm so sorry, spirit. I didn't think that something like that could happen! You know what? I'm... There's gotta be a good spot just to, like, leave this horse, right? I'm just gonna leave her right here and cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, so now this guy decides to wake up after I just like flame grilled my horse. And this guy's name is Goril. Uh, but yeah, I'm here for Fort Hoteno. It's worth seeing. There's a last line of defense between Hoteno Village. Okay, so it is Hoteno Village and the awful tragedy that happened all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Okay. Uh, let me do some cooking. Let's see. Let's get a lizard. Let's get some choo-choo jelly. And then let's get this wing. I'm gonna do the cop now. Let me do the wing. And then see if that will make an elixir. Or if it'll just make something totally disgusting. Oh, dance around there. Oh, I did get an elixir! Okay, cool! Up 
Is that attacking? Oh my gosh, it's attacking me. Okay. You're gonna come back? Let's restore my stamina. And then let's climb up here, because it looks like there could be more gems, which could get me more money and more cool outfits. I'll get all the way up to the top of this, and then I will jump and paraglide to that area there. If I don't fall to my death. Oh, there's a box up here! Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Another sledgehammer. I did set it on fire. <laughs> and then let's make our way back to Hatena Village. So let's go ahead and giddy up a little bit. There's a whole army of goblins over there. And I don't want to hurt my horse anymore, so I think I'm going to stay clear for now. We'll go a little faster on our way. Okay, they said in the fork in the road, stay east. Let me try to slow my horse down. Horse is going crazy. See what this person has to say. Hi, welcome back, Sneak Son. We have made it to Hateno Fort, and now we are on our way to the village. We got a horse. Uh, we almost had that horse on fire, so we've been through a lot in this stream. Um, but let's see. We're familiar with both sword and bow. Good skill set. Ooh, I think I will pass on the Yiga clan. Since y'all killed a lot of people in the Kakariko village. Okay, but it's a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero that long dead. Oh, excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Um, this is, uh, um, uh, uh, let's go horse, giddy up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what is happening? They can do magics of sorts. I have no idea where my horse is taking me. My 
horse doesn't deserve this. I shouldn't have talked to that person. Oh. Let's see, are they still following me? Oh, my horse can jump. Well, I am not going to talk to any more people on the side of the road, I tell you what. But oh my gosh, yeah, no, those uh, Yiga clan are pretty crazy. There's no one. Ooh. I am sorry, Horace, it's okay. I know. Driving a horse is so hard. Oh. There we go. I'll get you some nice apples when we get to the village. Let's see, it looks like there's a shrine up there, though. Let's see what else is around here as we're riding about. Also in this general area, there's special interaction with the blood moon. Next time it comes up, I think I mentioned it in the journal in a shed. Okay, good to know. But I'm also scared of the blood moon. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I know I saw some creature kind of jumping around here. Let's see if I can sneak up on them. Nice! Let's see, got any goodies? Nah. Let's see what else we got here. I feel like we gotta get close to this village, right? So far. Okay, I see some the goblins up in that little wooded area. So let's see if we can sneak up on them too. Oh, is this the village? Wow! There's a shrine. There's a goblin there. Just oh, there are a couple of creatures. There's a blue one. There's that one with a, a broom? He's got a broom? And then there was one over there. So I guess we could just go this way. 
maybe surprise them. Okay, I'm definitely way too far for my horse to call. I'm all out of bow or of arrows to snipe. Oh, but you know what? I have bombs. too far in the direction that I did not want. But let me see if we can maybe get their attention. Oh! That would have been nice. Let's see. Will this one just tumble? Nope. It just kind of stays there. Okay, now we got that one's attention. That's so fun. It's amazing the way that they are able to kind of perceive, like they all have their own individual tracks. They're all curious creatures. up to no good. I am a traveler. Hmm. You certainly do appear to be a Hillian like the rest of us. And these are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. What's that supposed to mean? You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store. The inn is just back there. Are more slippery than 
normal. Let's see if I can parkour by going like this. Catches breath. Pass by the fire and walk around during the day. Many people want to chat and just, okay. Well, I mean, it's 10 o'clock now, so I'm sure people will be waking up soon. What's in there? I don't know if I'll be able to climb this very well since it is raining. Yeah, probably not. We'll do that during the daytime when it's not raining. Well, let's see. There's some cuckoos here. And an egg! Thank you. Ooh, some arrows. That's what I need. And just one. Okay, cool. Six arrows added. Got a broom here. Getting kind of stuck. Okay, let's get back on the main path. It looks like there is a clothing store, so maybe we've got some cute hairstyles and fashions that the Great Fairy can give us some boosts for. Let's see, what's the store here? This village is so expansive. Let's see, new age of comfort, construction homes, who's quality? We've got some model homes. Okay, so these are all about their model homes. So the Hatina theme ambiently. Let's see. I'm going to turn out my volume just a little bit. Just see how that sounds. Just eats a bunch of peppers to wake up and keep going. Honestly. Oh, this music is so pretty. I listen to a lot of like Nintendo soundtracks. Or they're like mixes, really. It's just like Nintendo music to start your day, or Nintendo music to finish your day, or Nintendo music for when your head empty, no thoughts. And this is one of my favorite ones. I just never realized it was from Zelda. Ooh, this house is very nice. Got a little reading nook. Let's see what's up here. Okay, very pretty. I wonder what the Hillian housing market is like. How much is this model home? What is this? Did we just come from here? Oh, there's a person! Person? Yeah. Evening there. Another day, another ruby. What are you doing? Working. This old house has been abandoned. Everyone in Hatano Village would agree we should agree we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Is it me? Is this my house? <laughs> that you're demolishing this house. You just have a book in your hand. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, how much is this house? 
been vacant for years, so the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition cost. Oh, 50,000. That's a lot. Uh, impossible. <laughs> okay. 3,000. That is a significant discount. How much is this house really worth? But in return. 30 wood bundles, building materials, you know how it is. Anyway, understand the terms and get to it. 3,000 rupees is so much. Oh, look at his hair! He's so silly! <laughs> Where do you think his hair starts and his head ends? Do you think his head is actually like that tall? of wanted posters for Link for causing destruction and breaking and entering everywhere he goes.
that's Greg. Greaves, they're fancy pants. They were their distinctly high defense to the metal plates they're made from, but the added weight takes some, ooh, yeah, no. I feel like that's just gonna be really heavy too. Let's see what's over here. Taylor's stuff. And what's over here? Oh, this is it. But it is 5 a.m., so that's fair. from nutmeg. Okay, sorry. Oh, I will take that. Let's see what's behind me. <gasps> There's so many bases. Oh, break them off. So a bunch of unlit lanterns. Let's see, what is this shop? Okay, like fabrics? Aww. <laughs> Their faces are so silly. Yeah, I'm a customer. Stuff. Oh. 
and the amber. Sounds good. I think I want to hold on to the topaz and ruby just until I find some more for now. Soups and stews. Twelve. That's kind of pricey. Mm. I got some mushrooms. Ooh. Increase stamina. The truffle. Increases maximum hearts. Egg. I've got eggs. Rice. And rice balls, tasty. Okay, cool. I think this will probably be the last of exploring I do. Because I'm supposed to find this like researcher person to fix my Sheikah slate. So let me focus on that. Instead of running all over the place like a crazy person. different in the day. Let's see, where is this person going to be? This researcher. Nope, that's another in. This town is huge. These are just a bunch of houses. Maybe this kid knows where he's going. What's up? Us spies are on a top secret mission. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he's going the same where, same place where I should be going. Congratulations to you and your team, Kristari. <laughs> totally not cheating. Let's see. The pasture, the tech lab. Okay, that sounds like where I should be going. And this kid's just really going for it. the place I should be. That looks kooky enough. Yep. Okay, so the beach, they've got all the problems there. Let's see, there's a sign here. No soliciting. So Girl Scouts be warned. Mind the lanterns. Oh, I'm so curious. Okay, so there's definitely going to be something about these lanterns. Maybe I have to set them on fire. Enter at your own risk. Okay. Whoa. That's cool. What a giant telescope. Ooh, a froggy. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Let's do something. Hello? Oh, that's just rude to just walk in someone's house. The lab. Oh, she's tiny. Hello? Hurra! This is the ancient tech lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. Director's in the back. Okay. Terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. She's so tiny. Purr's like the waifu of the new game, right? She's so little. Okay, let's see. Are you the dad? Simon. Hello. Pretty incredible, isn't it? 
gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. Okay. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistake in it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, Magnesis, yes, yes. Remote Bomb, Cryonese, and... So that's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. It does seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I forgot to inter introduce myself. My name is Simon. And you are... Link, right? You know my name. Ah. Lady Uba caught me up to speed. How? How did she catch you up to speed? She's all the way back in Kakariko. He'll be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Wow. They have my name. Okay. Miss Director? Who is she? Wait, hold on. Her up? <laughs> the little baby? Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. How is she the on ancient Hyrule culture? She's like five. Oh, she's so cute. With the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished, I'm honored to be her assistant. That's so silly. Director may look like a young girl, but... Oh, she's secretly... Is it like a Lady Tsunade situation where she's just like using magic or technology to look young? <laughs> I, I, I'd say I am! I am surprised, bro! It's me! Snappy Snap! Anyway, Winky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? It doesn't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Oh, I'm supposed to know her? Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you, even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? No, girl? Hmm, as expected. Oh, she's so cute using her little glasses. After 100 years in the Slumber of Restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oops, sorry! I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? <laughs> Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, like, aren't you a child? <laughs> How very rude! Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Oh! <laughs> well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you're in frame from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Uh, yes please? <laughs> I need to say that, she's so cute. Alright then, first I need to run an errand for me. Okay. You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? <sighs> I did. <laughs> Slumber restoration subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you 
please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town. Oh, and use it to light our furnace. Sweet little guidance stone. Start working. Once you do that, allow us to restore your missing rooms. Hmm, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. So let's get that flame. That little Stonehenge place over there. <gasps> Some cows. Another dog. Yeah, that looks like a blue flame. Right? Can I make it all the way? <gasps> a sword. That's all rusty, though. by the second game she has performed another experiment to age herself back up to adultness okay so it is kind of like Lady Sonate except unintentionally whereas Lady Sonate is just using ninjutsu to look young and, and beautiful for as long as she can <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be lighting these all the way but I am Let's see. Where was... It's over there. So I need to go... Which direction? I guess I can go up this way. Yeah, this looks right. There's another lantern here, so. I'm so curious to know what other abilities I'll be able to get once my Sheikah Slate is fixed. So apparently I don't have all of them. It's like, I really want to try, like, the cow meat. Uh, but I feel bad if they're already in a corral. These belong to someone. They belong to that person. But I want the, the tasty cooking meat. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go all the way back up.
This kid's probably doing something down. Old Granny Purr, I was carrying it. Okay. And we're gonna go this way.
wonder if I can make it look like I am holding her on my little hand. There we go. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> She's so cute! Is this a Pura? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. young creature. She's so full of herself. I love that. Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, she's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there is some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this Hey, Linky, it sounds on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Don't lose hope, it just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. My hunch is correct. I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. There's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until you see Emba, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to either me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Techno Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do it! Okay! Let's see. Get our adventure log. So the next step is going to be going back to Kakariko Village to talk to Impa, and we'll do the Divine Bees later, but Robbie's research, it's going to be a Hillian homeowner, ancient components, and who is Robbie? I'll have to ask. Okay. Let's see. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming by, Sneak Sun. Y'all stay safe driving. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Our VOD will be posted to YouTube tomorrow, so y'all can watch that. Uh, it should be scheduled to post at noon if everything goes well um, with the uploading process. But yeah, honestly, we've made it to Hatina Village. We've got our Sheikah Slate fixed. Uh, so I think now is going to be a good time to save. And we will work on going back to Kakariko Village next time. In the meantime, I'll be working on some shenaniganery here in Hateno. Uh, but I'll leave some side quests and I'll do that shrine with y'all on stream. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. It was such a pleasure for y'all to be here at the Sweetness Maid Cafe. Uh, as a reminder, our applications are open right now. So we are currently accepting applications for any future hopeful maids and butlers to join Sweetness Maid Cafe. Those are going to close on June 15th, which is upcoming this week. I think that is on Thursday. Let me just double check. Yeah, so that's going to be on Thursday. Uh, June 15th is when our applications close, so be sure to follow us on Instagram. We have a link in our bio that takes you there, as well as checking us out on Facebook. We have some links posted there as well to access our applications. 
Uh, and again, be sure to follow us on Instagram for more stream announcements and on YouTube for stream recordings and clips as well as future performances. Uh, I'll be back next week for another Fun Day Fun Day where we'll be making our way back to Kakariko Village to talk to Impa, learn some more information about Link's uh, forgotten memories. But again, it was such a pleasure to have you all back in the cafe. And until next we meet, stay sweet! <laughs>